Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we've been discussing what it means to be more like Jesus. Many Christians place a lot of stress on becoming more like Jesus, but what exactly does that mean? Curing illnesses? Multiplying loaves and fish? Walking on water? Fortunately, not all of the qualities that Jesus demonstrates in the Gospels are quite as hard to attain as those. Jesus also had many qualities that any person can work towards without any of that, and last time we discussed the feelings of Jesus. Today, the final episode in this series on being more like Jesus, a few more of the values that Jesus had. We've already covered how Jesus prioritized the will of God, demonstrated indomitable courage, wasn't always respectful to everyone, and demonstrated good judgment at all times, showing his love for the faithful, and responding with fairness whenever he was challenged or asked questions. However, there were other values that Jesus had as well. Jesus saith to him, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. John 14, 6 the way that Jesus speaks of here is the way to heaven, where he reigns. These three things are inseparable from Jesus, the work of salvation, the truth, and life. Each is a firmly held value of Jesus, because each is him. Jesus saith to them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me, that I may perfect his work. Do you not say, There are yet four months, and then the harvest cometh? Behold, I say to you, lift up your eyes and see the countries, for they are white already to harvest. John 4, 34-35 The harvest that Jesus mentions here is the salvation of souls, and he hungers for people's souls to be saved and brought to heaven to live with him. Pilate therefore said to him, Art thou a king, then? Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. For this was I born, and for this came I into the world, that I should give testimony to the truth. Every one that is of the truth heareth my voice. John 18.37 All truth is the truth of Jesus. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come, that they may have life, and may have it more abundantly. John 10.10 Jesus comes to give greater life to people, and keep in mind that to the Hebrews, the word life encompassed everything that makes life worth living, everything good, useful, and positive. Jesus wants people to have more life, longer lives, yes, but also better lives in every way. That's why he teaches people what they need to do in order to reach heaven and attain the best life of all. In those days again, when there was a great multitude and had nothing to eat, calling his disciples together, he saith to them, I have compassion on the multitude, for behold, they have now been with me three days, and have nothing to eat. And if I shall send them away fasting to their home, they will faint in the way, for some of them came from afar off. Mark 8, 1-3 In the spirit of caring about people's lives, Jesus genuinely cares about their well-being, physical as well as spiritual. And there was there, near the mountain, a great herd of swine feeding. And the spirits besought him, saying, Send us into the swine, that we may enter into them. And Jesus immediately gave them leave. And the unclean spirits, going out, entered into the swine. And the herd with great violence was carried headlong into the sea, being about two thousand, and was stifled in the sea. Mark 5, 11-13 here we see that Jesus allows evil spirits to kill a whole herd of swine in order to save one person from being possessed by them. This shows that Jesus values human life far more than animal life, and so should we. But just in case we need it spelled out more clearly, Fear not, therefore. Better are you than many sparrows. Matthew 10.31 However, while Jesus does care about our lives, and our lives do have value, it's still better to face conflict and division rather than rejecting the teachings of Jesus. Think ye that I am come to give peace on earth? I tell you no, but separation. For there shall be from henceforth five in one house divided, three against two and two against three. Luke 12, 
51 to 52. Jesus knows that his followers will face division because of his teachings, and he teaches them anyway because it's worth it. Salvation is worth any temporary struggle endured to obtain it. So Jesus values obedience to the will of God, the salvation of souls, the truth, all that's good and beneficial about life, and he values each of us. This is also how we should try to see others, as people who God loves and wants to save. Next time, we can begin a new season, discussing the nature of temptations and why they tempt us, beginning with power. See you then. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.